One of Canada's oldest citizens is celebrating a birthday tonight, a celebration right here in the Maritimes. Arnold Hawkins grew up in a fishing village along the Bay of Fundy, and that's where CTV's Mike Cameron found the Hawkins family celebrating Arnold's 107th birthday today. Cake. Arnold Hawkins has a house full of help today as he makes his way into the kitchen. A lot of his family is here to wish him a happy 107th birthday. Are you here? Yay! His five children say having Arnold for a father was a great blessing. And he was such a wonderful, wonderful father. He was just perfect dad, you know. I don't remember like ever hearing like a harsh word come out of him. Mama kind of ruled the house. <laughs> Hawkins did some traveling in his time, but for the most part, he spent virtually his entire life in the tiny fishing village of Beaver Harbor. Arnold Hawkins was born here in 1911. He grew up here, went to school here, and when time came, he went to work here. And he didn't have far to go to go to work. Like most young men, he went to the wharf and made a living as a fisherman until he was well into his 70s. What did you fish when you were a fisherman? What did I fish? Yeah. I had it mostly, best tasting ones, you like. He lives in his own home, the one he built in the 1930s. But these days he gets a lot of help from family and caregivers. And he's here. In, in his home where he wants to be. Um, there won't be any nursing homes, as my aunt said. Uh, we take care of our own. How he's managed to live to 107 is a matter of debate within the family. <laughs> when I was little, you know, how, are, how do you keep going for so long? And he told me the secret is fish and potatoes. Eat fish and potatoes. Though longevity may run in the family, his grandmother lived to 107. And did we mention that Arnold has a bit of musical talent as well, still playing a mean accordion after all these years. On his birthday, Arnold is getting a lot of love and best wishes from his 14 grandchildren, 25 great-grandchildren, and five great-great-grandchildren. Mike Cameron, CTV News, Beaver Harbor, New Brunswick.